The day before my partner killed himself, a co-worker asked him, how are you? It's a really common turn of phrase, and he just automatically answered, fine. Um, he was telling me about this that evening. She persisted, though, and asked him again, how are you really? And he just didn't know how to respond. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Ah, my notifications. Great. Anyways, that was the day before he ended his own life. Since losing him, I've had a really hard time answering that question. My first day back at work, my coworkers asked, how are you? And I started to say fine. And I teared up. I, I couldn't say it. It was a lie. I couldn't say it. I've always had trouble with lying, probably because we used to get in really big trouble as kids. Um, so I, I just, I couldn't. I, and ever since then, when people ask me, I typically respond, I'm doing. And it throws people off because they're, it, it's not a question anymore. It's just, a thing you say. You don't actually care how the person's doing most of the time. It's just a way to say hello, really. And I I was on the brink and I still struggle with ideation. And so I don't say I'm fine anymore because I'm not. And people who really want to know, they'll inquire further. And people who don't really want to know they'll drop it um so I do have people who no longer ask that question because they know they're going to get an answer and they might not want to hear and I don't know I think so many of us hide and we go through the motions of living we go through the motions because we don't know how to really explain what it's like to be in this headspace. My life is reasonably good. Um, I could stand to have a little bit more money, but I enjoy the work that I do. I am self-employed, which is pretty awesome. I have an amazing son and he has a nice girlfriend. I have my dogs. I have quite a few days off because that's how I've scheduled myself. I Overall, I have a decent life, but I feel empty constantly. I feel like a shell. Things that give me joy don't really give me joy anymore. Or if they do, it's so fleeting. It just slips away. It's easier to just hide and not open up and not share how you're really feeling because it's complex it's confusing I don't even understand how I'm feeling because it's so many layers of emotions and thoughts and a lot of it doesn't make sense at least not to me um it's it's an imbalance in the brain and I don't know. It's it's a lot and it's hard to explain to people. And so we just shrug our shoulders and say we're fine when we're not. Or you get people who over dramatize everything. There is always the flip side to everything. Holy fuck. But most of us tend to kind of keep it to ourselves. And I decided when I lost my partner that I was not going to do that. And maybe I overshare. But... I figure I'm not alone. I know I'm not. There's other people out there that struggle, that don't know how to speak out, that don't know how to get help, whether it's from a medical professional, a friend, family member, someone, they don't know how to ask for help. We are our own advocate. We have to advocate for ourselves, advocate for ourselves. We have to stand up. We have to speak out for ourselves. 
You can't rely on someone else to save your life if you're struggling. You have to do something. You have to speak up because he had so many people there that would have helped him. I would have done absolutely anything. He just had to ask. And he didn't ask and he didn't speak up. He kept it to himself and he's gone. And he is missed every single fucking day. <sighs> That's my big message. There's so many people hiding in the shadows. I don't know. We got to speak out for ourselves and we got to help each other more. Because this has to end. There's too many of us dying or on the verge. Ciao.